Hey guys, it's a Sniper one here, and today you join me back with Final Fantasy VII where we left off after kicking Rufus's ass, and now we are back downstairs and we need to talk to the team because we've got to get the hell out of here. Where's Rufus? Come finish him, this is going to get complicated. So now we're back with Ares after fighting that boss, so let's get out of here. I'll go on ahead. Nope, Shinra soldiers, soldiers, Shinra sol- Bloody hell, can't even talk. Shinra soldiers, there we go. Fuck, we're surrounded. Though, if I was alone this wouldn't be a thing, but I got a reputation to protect. All of you get out while they can, it's not you they're after, it's me. Yeah, well that ain't happening. You got caught up in the server, Marlene. Now it's my turn to help you. Okay, playtime's over, jackasses. Thank you, Mr. Barrett. <laughs> Who are you calling Mr. Barrett? That don't sound right. Well then, if you are through talking, may I suggest we think of a way of getting out of here? Huh. Oh yeah, you're a cold man. Just like someone else I know around here. Did you say something? Not a thing. So what are we going to do? Barrett! <laughs> oh, man. So Tifa's pulling everyone over there, and Cloud has vanished. But this is the most badass thing ever in Final Fantasy VII. I'll be silent for this bit. Oh yeah, what a way to make an escape from a building. Launching yourself out of the place with the motorbike. Fucking awesome. So, attack on the left, attack on the right. So let's just double check our party. Yes, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let's just check our materia. Yeah, that's gonna not be any good for what we want. So let's just drop all this out and rearrange it. So restart all. And Tifa is gonna get lightning and we'll just stick an all in there for the sake of it. Um, we'll give Barrett steel. And we'll give him fire. Right, let's just heal up. Right, we are ready. I'm going to attempt something here. I believe if you sit here and just keep doing this, the enemies won't get anywhere near us. I was wrong. I'm not very good at this mini game. As you can probably tell, never have been any good at this, but... Yeah, because uh, the health at the end of this affects um, the health of the uh, fight that we've got coming up as well, if I remember rightly. So we don't want to be letting them get hit too many times. Oh, that were a bit of a cheat. Oh, double kill! So that should be rid of bikes for a little while. Oh, nearly. Yeah, 
Yes, nice, nice, nice. Yes, beautiful. Oh yeah, getting better, slowly getting better at this game anyway. Double kill there, beautiful. Jobs are good in. Hey! I mean, Actifa's taken a bit of a pounding. Oh, they've completely backed off, so it must be towards the end of the minigame now where we shall see Motorball. Yep. Yep, comes screeching to a halt. And there's the boss just behind us. So no rest for the wicked, straight into the boss fight. One thing we've got to remember, if you run away it minimises the amount of damage you take when he comes in, which is always good. So this is Motorball. He shouldn't, he shouldn't cause us any problems. Uh, we'll send Cloud in with that, and uh, see if we can start firing off the bolt magic. I'll just keep Cloud attacking. Never know. Oh, I don't have anything to steal, so we shall just keep attacking with Cloud and Barret. Look at that nice 190 damage attack. It's always good. Oh, critical hit. Beautiful. Right, we need to keep, uh, keep the offensive up on this one. Shouldn't cause us any problems, like, but it's always worth keeping ploughing these attacks into him. I believe he will do some sort of fire attack that will hit us all now. Yep, twin burner. Ooh, that was rather damaging, but we can come back from that nice and easy. Just going to hang off on using my cure spell until we really need to. We'll just keep on firing off Bolt with a uh, Tifa. Oh, Barrett's got a limit. Let's fire off his limit break. That should be about this boss done, hopefully. Nope, maybe not. Bit optimistic there. We're alright for health at the moment, so we will hang off for uh, using Makio's spell a little bit longer. Come on. Must be about dead now. What's he doing? Rolling fire right. I'm gonna fire off my Kyo spell to recover from this one because I think it's quite damaging. Oh! Oh! Oh wow. I think it's quite a damaging attack. It takes us all down to critical. Beautiful, beautiful. It's a good recovery there. Beautiful. These two limit breaks should polish him off, I hope. Yep. Sweet. Go on, Cloud. Follow up with a bolt, hopefully. Yes! Have that, you bastard. Nice and easy boss fight. Awesome. So, star pendant accessory there for us, which is always nice. Well, what do we do now? <laughs> oh, we haven't got much choice. We're going to be leaving Midgar, mate. I'm going to take a little pie that's uh, a little different from normal for me. I am going to take Red 13 and Ares with me out into the field map. So it should make a nice little bit of difference, a little bit of a change up. 
I'll go too, there are many things I need to know. About the ancients, many things. I guess it's goodbye Midgar. Yes, you are correct, Miss Tifa. So here we are, outside sec- well... It says Sector 7 on the gates, but this is actually the entrance near Ares' church. So we can go around and talk to everyone. I guess this is the start of our journey. It's dangerous, you sure you want to go? Hmm, but you know, it should be alright if you keep your promise of protecting you. Yeah. You know what, this is the first time I've left Midgar. It's dangerous, are you sure? I thought he'd say that and we can talk to Barrett as well. Yeah, she should be safe. So we can go in here, then. Let's go! We need a leader for a journey, of course that could only be me. You think so? I think it should be Cloud. <laughs> of course you would, Ares. Go northeast to a town called Cam. If something happens, we'll meet up there. Besides, we can't be all strolling around out there. It's too dangerous. Let's split into two parties. So, I am going to take Ares and Red 13 for a little bit of a change. At least Tifa and Barrett are together. So then, let us leave on our journey. First time we see the world map after a long while. I'm so glad to be back out here. Ah, oh, this is this is just beautiful. Lovely serene place with lots of battles ahead. Oh look, double attack. So, um, I haven't set my characters up, that was very clever of me. Oh, look at that, I should have had enemy skill, that's one of the enemy skills that you can pick up. So, ideally I want Ares to attack that, then Cloud to attack that, and then Red can just go after that. Nope, oh, Red's, well, Ares killed it because she's a badass, and Red's killed that one, awesome. Nice and easy. So, we want to be headed over here. And there's Cam. May look like a couple of little houses on the world map, but it's a whole bustling village. So what I shall do is actually save the game before we go inside. We shall be starting a set of new game files as well next. So save here. And let us head into Midgar. Uh, calm even. So these guys go off into the inn. This must be calm. I wonder if everyone's there already. Let's hurry to the inn. Oh, before we go to the inn, I'm going to have a little run around town. So we'll go in this building first. There's lots of items to be had around here. So under the stairs is an ether. The one in this cabinet are there? No, I can't remember. We're not even going to bother talking to the NPCs because they don't really tell us anything that valuable as of yet. No, that's all there is in here. Yep, yeah, that's right. So I head back downstairs and out into the next building. Now, if I remember rightly, I've been told that one of these buildings you can actually look out of the window, but don't know how true that is. But we shall soon see. We shall hunt it down. Let this guy's dog out. Head upstairs here, where you can get an item, an ether. Now there's an interesting little bit of trivia about this chest locked. Can't open it originally, it was going to contain the Titan materia. But they uh, decided against it. And have just left that in the game as is. So there's no way to open that chest at all. Right, let's move on into the next building, which is here. We can go into the back in here, there's nothing in there. Now I believe it's up here, you can look out of the window. So, Peacemaker. I think something is lying to me here. I reckon it was a troll. I reckon someone's trolled us here. Uh, 
part that you can look out of this tower. I call, I call, I call troll. Troll -a -lo, -lo, lo So that's a little bit embarrassing, but hey ho. You don't know till you try, do you? I was hammering that uh, confirm button, but no, didn't get anything. Oh, guard source always comes in handy. Anything over here? No. Anything in this corner? No. Right, let's move on into the next building. Well, next set of buildings, which are actually our item shops where we can top up on items. So, I believe this is a weapon. Oh no, this is the item shop. But we're alright for items. I'd rather spend the money on weapons. However daft that sounds, uh, weapons and materia. So I want an earth, keep poison, got sense and steel and we'll get a heal. Oh wow, I'm out of money already, that's sad. Especially with all these awesome weapons here. Look, cannonball for Barret, mithril claw, full metal staff and a mithril armlet. I might do a bit of grinding off camera for them. That's all there is up here. There's a pub underneath there, but there's nothing to find. I believe the last set of items are in this building, so neath are under the stairs. We shall head upstairs. This is a guy that you bring certain items to, and he gives you goodies, but we shall leave that for later on in the game. That's all there is in the buildings around camp. So, I'm actually going to leave the video there for today because the next video is going to be extremely long, uh, extremely long as we shall be delving into Cloud's past. So, thank you very much for tuning in and we shall see you next time.